I want to talk to us about ordering our worlds. And so one of the things that we know, and it's not hard to deduce this, is that God is a God of order. So what I want to just impress on our hearts is this, that you know God is a God of order. Therefore, it's safe to assume or safe to state that God calls us to order our lives and the things we do. God wants that for us. He, uh, he expects us to imitate him. He is holy. He tells us to be holy. He is a God of order, so he requires us to follow that and be people of order, that there is order in our lives, in the way we do our life, uh, in the way we manage things that he has given to us in life. So why? Why should you and I have things in order? First, you know, it just helps maintain peace, sanity. Secondly, it helps optimize performance. You perform better because your energies are geared towards the main thing that you need to do, and you're not expending your energy on, you know, all the, just trying to get things together. The third thing is this, it helps improve efficiency. You are fast in your work. Your time is now invested in what really matters, not time spent searching and doing unnecessary tasks, which could have been saved if you just had order. And number four, it helps make progress. If you are actually ordering things in your life and have things in order, you can measure, am I making progress or not? Am I taking steps to make progress? Very quickly, how do we order our world? So when you say, you know, how do you order world? What are two important things that you and I need? One is we need structure, and second, we need controls. I want us to take some time in the Word of God to address four areas where we need order. Time, relationships, finances, and growth. Number one, time. Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, God says this. See then that you walk circumspectly. How do you know you're walking circumspectly carefully? Redeeming the time. Buying back your time. To manage time, to order time, put structure, put some controls in place. I encourage you to do that so that you can glorify God with your time. Number two, with relationships. Relationships are important. People influence us. The right kind of people sharpen us. The wrong kind of people just weaken us. So you and I want to get better. We want to get sharper. Hang out with the right kind of people. Or like it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, evil company corrupts good habits. You may have good habits, but if you stay in the wrong company, even the good habits you have will get corrupted, will get degraded. We all need people who encourage us, who challenge us, who inspire us, and yeah, have fun with them. And then... We must be careful of people who drain us, weaken us, discourage us. You can do some things to protect yourself from being influenced by them. Keep a healthy distance that protect you from their influence. We also need people whom we serve. That means we not only receive, but we want to give. So find the people that you can serve. How can you invest in their lives? How can you bless them? How can you encourage them? Number three, finances. Luke 16, verses 10 to 12. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. He who is faithful in what is least is also faithful in what is much. He says in verse 11, Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? Put it, putting it in a positive, if you are faithful in the way you handle your money, God will also entrust you with taking care of eternal things for his kingdom. The last one. If whoever is faithful in another man's. If, if, you, if you've not been faithful in what is another man's, who will give you what is your own? Handle what belongs to somebody else. You handle it carefully with, with a sense of regard and duty and responsibility so that God can trust you with what is your own. Last one. Growth. Spiritually, personally, professionally, keep growing. You've got to have things in order have structure, have some controls in place so that you can keep growing. Order your time, order your relationships, order your finances, order your growth so that you could be all, all of us can glorify God in our lives. 